geotags. <laughs> oh, there's no geotags. Okay, I've got a really, really random project here. I'm gonna make a hand mill for milling grain um, that was issued to Swedish warriors in the, the Great Northern War uh, in 1648, I think is what it was said. And this mill was issued to a lot of the soldiers as standard issue kit. So I've got this picture from the Mills Archive Trust, um, who are trying to preserve all the different ways of milling grain. And I looked at it and I thought, well, that looks like a really fun project to make. I don't know how good it'll be. Um, apparently the grains don't want to be too dry. Um, the original was made out of birch. I haven't got any birch, but I went to my friend's house and uh, in an old swimming pool, they had dried some timber. They did have some pear, which I had here actually. We have a, I've got a nice piece of this. And I've been using this for handles and stuff like that. We tried to find some more of that, they didn't have any. Picked up this slab here, which we weren't 100% sure what it was until we started planing it off. You can see now, definitely beach. Um, so this is nice hardwood. Okay, it's not the birch that they used, but beach is a really tough one, really good for utilitarian projects. So I think this will be ideal. So I'm gonna make myself a wheel and a handle and go kind of carve ourselves a little trough and go see if we can mill some grain. Let's get on it. Okay, I've got my three pieces dimensioned roughly. So I've got this one for the trough, which is about two inches by two and a half. Uh, it's not huge. I've got this one for the wheel. It's far too thick. I haven't got the ability to resaw it, but I think I'm going to mount it on a chuck so I can drill a nice central hole for it, um, roughly the size I want, which will help keep things uh, more central. And then I've got my, I've just planed up an inch by inch piece of beach for the handle. So I'm gonna put that in the lathe once I've turned the wheel. Uh, just keep the center square and the rest can be rounded off as a handle that you can roll. Okay, so I've turned the little handle and I've kept the square shank in the middle. So this slots through now. And what I need to do is mark this up and then chisel a square hole through it. So if I had a mortiser, obviously I could use that. Uh, my mortiser is currently in pieces over there, so I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm going to mark this out, I'm going to draw around it with a knife now, and then start chiseling.
Okay, got this turned. I reckon that when they did this in the past, they probably would have had a square mandrel on the lathe and you'd have an apprentice chopping out the square holes and you put it on and you make sure it's perfectly round off that square hole. But this way works as well for making one. You see, you can get a fair bit of pressure into that. Now all we need to make is the trough. So I've marked it out roughly what I think. That's 11 and 3 quarter inches, uh, which is what the original one was. And then there is a bit of a gap between the sides. So I'm going to try and remove as much waste from there. Now there's different ways I could do this. I could do this with a mortiser, which will probably be the best, um, but I haven't got one at the moment. I could do it with a drill and then chisel out the waste, but I'm actually going to use my domino, my big domino cutter. Um, doesn't get used so much these days, but uh, it's a handy tool when you need it. So I'm going to use that now, set that up and remove as much waste as I can. Obviously I need to bear in mind I've got these sloping sides, so I'll probably just go to the square bits there, maybe take a little bit of waste out there and there, and then I can just chisel up the rest. Okay, so there we go, I have made this little grain mill. The, the, from the sizes I've been given, it's not huge. Um, obviously I'm guessing it was to keep the weight down. If you're a soldier having to carry this, and it comes apart, you just have to knock that out. We'll see how it works, roll it back and forth. You could also, because it's got this square, rather than being round in there, you can also scrape it back and forwards, which I think might be used to break the grain to start with. Now. When I was speaking to the Mills Trust about it, they did say that sometimes our grain's a little bit hard. I mean, ours is dry, pr pretty dry. So this is some, some wheat I've got here. And I, I wonder if it would have been for wheat, it might have been for rye. Let's see how it breaks down. I did wonder about whether I should treat this or not, but I think it'll just build its own patina. Uh. Yeah, I've all I've done really, I have created some flour. So as you can see, it's not, not that easy to use. I mean, there is definitely flour in there. I've only been doing it for a few minutes. So I guess if you just sat there, probably with it tucked in the crook of your knee, maybe. I'm going to see if I can, how would a soldier have sat to do this? Tuck between waist and knee. And then you just sat there. In the pictures, there's a few holes in the, and the one is a, a hole from a knot that's fallen out of the birch. And the other hole, the uh, they said it could be to let the flower out, but I think a bit of a cloth there maybe as the flower came out, but I can't see that being a great thing. They did suggest, so you can see, see I've got a bit of flower, but not, it's more just cracked grains, which also could have been what it's for, but rye, and things might have been uh, better. I've got some I've soaked here, so see if this makes any difference or it's just gonna make a mess. Maybe this was to make like a, a biscuit of some sort. 
None of this go to waste, the chickens will get it. Let's try some soaked grains. Oops. Let's try it on the bench. That's made a much more kind of coarsely ground meal that you probably could have cooked quite easily into something uh, a bit easier to digest, I guess. Yeah, so what can I say about this? I think, you know, it makes us real, like it's not easy to grind uh, wheat with this. Like I said, I don't know if they would have been using wheat. It might have been rye or linseed or something else. So we'd have to, have, I might have a bit of an experiment with some other grains. It shows, you know, the daily grind of making our own flour to make bread is really tricky without modern technology. Uh, this is really basic stuff here, literally just crushing it. And it would have made like a really coarse, uh, not even a flour really, I guess, but made it much easier to digest than you could have made biscuits, baked them in the hot coals in the fire. But it's really interesting. You know, we, we definitely take it for granted how easy we've got access to food. Um, so making something like this and trying to use it is, uh, is quite an interesting project. If you've enjoyed this, then please click the like and the thumbs up and thanks for watching.